Will you just take it on back there with McGraw and that? And be sure and take your walk and stick with you. Everybody man. saw you using the thing except the referee. Uh, was you're blind like there. everybody else. I didn't do anything because I don't have to do anything. Here, throw me my sunglasses out here. Thank you, my man. I appreciate that. You know, I've been making a lot of observations lately. Oh, big deal. No, no, I have. You know I have, man, because you know what? It's just like E.F. Hutton, baby. When Jimmy Hart talks, everybody listens. You understand that? Me, yeah, I can see them all listening. Well, you know, like I said, I've, I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, making a lot of observations, and you know, there's a man right here now that I think is world class championship material. Oh, Super. I know the first family's got who is it, Bugsy or no, the Dream no. Machine or one of the nightmares no. in there that you're so proud of? No, Buzzard Breath, it's not. Let me tell you who it is, man. It's somebody that you can't even believe, but this man is definitely world championship material, and I hate to see him waste his life away with the people that he's hanging around. And the man's name is Steve Kern. Steve Kern is a... <laughs> yes, sir. You're saying that? I'm saying that I've been watching Steve Kern now for about five or six weeks, and I'm telling you, the man has got championship material. With the misery that he's inflicted on your first family, you're well, talking about Steve Kern? Well, let me just say you this. you got something up your sleeve. We have something in common, Steve Kern and Jimmy Hart, baby. And it is that I hate Orientals. And I know Steve Kern hates Orientals because I know that he loves and respects his father very, very much. Just like I love and respect my father very, very much. And I know also that Steve Kern's father was a prisoner of war in Vietnam. That's it was true. in all the papers, we, you know it, and I know it too. No point in going so like I said before, that. there is no love lost between Jimmy Hart and the Orientals, and I know how Steve Kern feels about them. And so, to make a long story short, what I'm trying to say right now is this, is that uh, there's an opening position right now in the first family professional wrestling. And I'm telling you right now, Steve Kern, if you're listening to me, that's right, laugh, Russell, go ahead, laugh, be a smart aleck and laugh. I'm saying right now, Steve Kern, if you're listening in the back, there's a position waiting for you, baby, because I like your action. And with Jimmy Hart by your side, you can be a world champion. You can be everything that you're not now. You're trying to invite Steve Kern into the... You know what? I I really think in that in that brain of yours that you are dead well, serious in there. That, But listen, you know what I really think is behind the whole thing? Oh, what's that? And that is simply because Tojo Yamamoto has <laughs> champions. Oh, God, Jimmy God. Hart doesn't have the Southern Tech. Let me tell Who's you got something, you guys baby. Don't Who have... won the belts for him? Uh, if I hadn't have been out here, they wouldn't have won the belts because Nola left Dundee, left you're in the You're afraid that fool. Yamamoto oh, has man. outdone you the in the wrestling thing, business, listen, and you're trying yeah, to figure right. some way the to get a guy thing, to hurt Well, baby, the only thing holding him up is his bare close veins on Tojo Yamamoto. He's going to have a heart attack in the ring and Jimmy Hart will be long here after he's dead and gone. I think you're scared. I think you're afraid of I'm not scared of anything or anybody, and you know it. And get that smart grin off your face, because Gordon Sully's going to take your job over. How you like that, Scoot Jerk? But I'm saying it right now. You're worried about Tojo taking yours over. Well, what I'm saying is Steve Kerr right now, baby. That's what I'm saying. There's a position in the first family. You shut your big... That's a... Oh, shut up. Take that baby out of here with you. Get that kid out of here. I'm sick of you guys to get her out of here, man. Get out of here. I hate freeloaders. No, I'm not going to be joking. Am I joking now? Am I serious now, brother? Am I Steve Kern, Steve Kern's his own man. He does his own talking. Nobody tells him anything. And talent when I see yeah. talent. Yeah, well, I yeah, I know the kind of talent you're looking for. This guy says there's an opening in the first family. He's had his eye. He thinks your championship material, and he because the fact that he doesn't like Orientals and the unfortunate experience that your father had in there, uh, he, he thinks you got a lot in common, Steve. Well, first of all, Lance, Jimmy Hart's right about one thing. My dad was a prisoner of war in Vietnam for seven and a half years. Maybe that's what a tribute to not liking the Orientals. But you know something, Hart? You're promising me an awful lot by making me the world champion. And that's something that I've always wanted. Everybody knows that, but that's something that every professional should want. But you know, there's something else my dad taught me. He says that you've got to be able to trust a man before you can put yourself Amen. in his hand. Amen. Not the most trustworthy soul I ever saw. Well, let me just say something right now. I think this speaks for itself. I could have kicked Chick Donovan out in the cold, cripple a gimp. But who stood by him? Jimmy Hart. So I think that has to speak for something right there, baby. Yeah. 
I don't know what. Always think. I'm out here giving you a chance of a lifetime, Kern. Look at you. You're with Dundee. Dundee has gone through 50 partners a year, man. He's washed up. You're not like him. You know that. You've got everything going. You have got youth. You have got charisma. And that's what the first family lives on, baby. It's magic. And Jimmy Hart is magic. And Jimmy Hart can make you, brother. And that's the deal. Watch it up the sleeve. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, my dad taught me to be able to trust a man. Now, if I'm going to be able to trust a man, you know, you just got your leg out of a cast not mm -hmm. too long ago. Right. It's probably still pretty weak. That's right. Probably could be injured real easily, right? There's no doubt about it. Well, I'll tell you what. In order for me to trust you, you're going to have to trust me. So I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to get you in the ring. I'd like you to get up in the ring. And I'd like you to let me place you anywhere in the ring that I can place you. And then I'll climb up that top rope. And I'll let your leg lay right across that bottom rope. And you'll be looking up at me that whole time. And you'll be wondering, is there a slightest doubt in my mind? And if you'll let me get up there, I'll make either one or two decisions when I climb up there. I'll either come down and I'll re-break your leg right here on television. Or else... Now, now there's another part of it. This is where your trust has to come into my hands. You're going to have to show me you trust me. You're going to have to say, I trust you, Steve, with all my heart. I'll come down that rope. I'll reach out. I'll shake your hand. And you'll make me the next world's heavyweight champion. <laughs> there you are, Jim. Just like a man, man to man, he's saying you got to trust me in order for me to trust you. Just climb right up there and let him make that decision. You have got to be kidding. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> hold it. Come here. Come here. You don't want to do wait it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, out. Russell. Why don't you shut up and keep out of this? Will you shut your big well, fat you mouth? you just about used up enough time. He made you a fair proposition. Well, listen, I've got all the time I want. Let me tell you something. So that's your deal, huh, Steve? Well, I'm going to let you know where my heart's at because, brother, I believe you are a champion, and I'll do it. I'll get in that ring, and I'll do it. You're going to climb up and put your leg on it. Because I promise you, I can turn this man into a world champion. You will be the greatest thing in the family. Bugsy McGraw, the dream machine, and all of my people, man. And I'm telling you, this is, this is the final touch on it. I'm I'll not, do it. I'm not believing this. Where you want me, baby? I'm not, he's, he's accepting, accepting the offer in there, Steve. Man's got a lot of trust in me, doesn't he? Well, I'll tell you what, I said, I thought he was dead serious. I'm not really, I, hey. I've been more serious than I've ever been in my life, Steve, Conan, I'm telling you right now. Well, quit running your mouth and get up in the ring in there. There he is. Don't wear this jacket either while I'm gone. Jimmy Hart has agreed as a matter of his indication of trust in Steve Kern to let Kern climb up on the top rope. He has already made him one of two choices. He's either going to jump off on the leg, Dave, or he's going to come down and take it. And he's going to make himself part of the first family at the hands of Hart. Hart his leg's still tender. He just got out of, what, two weeks ago, two I weeks think. Yeah. Cast off, yeah. Just got it out of the cast. Kern laying it up on the uh, bottom rope. He's telling Jimmy, just lay back and take it easy, Jimmy. Steve Kern now satisfied with his replacement. Hart saying, hey, come on now. Remember, you can climb down and become the world heavyweight champion. Steve goes up to the top rope. Decision time as Kern stands up. Hart saying, hold it, hold it. Now, wait a minute. He didn't realize how high Kern was going to be up there, whether he flies or walks down those ropes. Kearns looks around at the people, and he came off on Hart's leg. Ooh. I'm 
the dream machine and Bugsy McGraw, the nightmares, Chick Donovan. And he got it. One thing I failed to mention, Lance Russell, but my dad also taught me another lesson. And Jimmy Hart, when you get where you can listen to this, you're going to learn something from this, brother. My dad taught me something else. He says, no matter how good the offer is, never, never accept anything from your enemies. Well, there you go. Maybe Hart, who thought he's too smart to learn anything from anybody, has just learned a lesson from Steve Kern. As Kern never said he wasn't going to come off on it, what he said was, you got a choice. I'll you either come down. What he said, all right? Yeah, I know. Okay, Bugsy, just take your wounded hero out of here. As Steve said, I'll either come down and shake hands and it's a deal or I'll jump down on your leg. He never said he wasn't going to jump down no, on he his didn't. leg. No, he said and he there goes Jimmy Hart. Ah, uh, the wounded leader is Steve once again pounded down.